Hello everyone and welcome to my channel AHDM Series. I'm not a med student or a doctor, but yes, I just learned about neuron in my summer camp. I'm going to talk about a brain cell neuron. Show you all a 3D neuron model and explain about all the parts. So let's begin. Neuron, just another fancy word for a neuron cell. So this is my neuron model. He's blue. Yeah. And he's a neuron. Yeah. So there's six main parts to the neuron. The cell body, which is this big round circle. Just from here, all this cell body. And then it's the nucleus. That is a green dot right there. So it processes all the messages that it's getting from other neurons. And then the dendrites. Those are these spiky things that are just pointing out right there. All these things. So, and then the axon. This long blue thing. So it's not the orange, but it's the blue. Right there, all that blue. You can see in between. That is the axon. And then the axon terminals. All these. The axon terminals. So it's this, this, and all that. And finally, my len. It's these orange ring sort of things that cover the neuron. Right there, all these things. They're holding on tight to the axon. All that. Okay. Now, what do they do? So they send signals from your brain to your body. Have you ever played the game telephone? So the neuron do the same thing. One neuron passes a message from one to the other. So let's get the message from the dendrite and pass it on to the axon terminal. Right there from these to all the way to here. So it goes through the axon, pass it to another neuron. Isn't it amazing? We're going to make a neuron model now. For this experiment, or whatever you want to call it, we'll need Play-Doh. need two or three different colors. So I got blue, orange, and green. So, now, let's get started. So now I have one big flat circle, so it's quite thick, you're going to need it, and then small green ball, another blue ball right there, it's really small, and a nice long rod of play-doh, which is blue again, and then me small ones, these really small ones, and these extremely small ones, really, ah, top of them, the extremely small ones, and last but not least, the orange ones. So they're quite thick, as you can see here. So now, let's get started. So first, what you're gonna need is a big blue fat tire. You're gonna have to pinch one of the sides like this. So take this and pinch it. Pinch, and then once you pinched it, you're going to have this. Then you're going to round it off. And pull a bit more of it. And you're going to round it off again. So you're pulling it. Then it should be like this. You can make about four or five of them. 
trying to make mine quite skinny. So you can make as many as you can. But I like just taking a five. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Five. Now I'm sort of going to take this and pinch. Get another one. Then pinch. Another one. Another one. And finally, one last one. It's really messy, but now it sort of looks like a star. So, yeah. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Once you're done with that, just press it down a little bit. So it'll be nice and flat. Not too flat, but it stay 3D. So let's take this, and yeah, looks like. So this is gonna be the cell body. So now you can take your nice small green ball, and nope, this is a bit too big. So we're gonna take this off. So, this green ball has to be smaller than the center of your cell body. So, you're going to make it small, as big as you can, but also quite small. And this is going to be the nucleus. So, I'm going to probably do it right above. Here is this. Yeah, this is good. So I'm not really want to stick mine together. So I'm just going to keep it on top and just press a little bit. Because I don't want them mixing together, do you? So I think I'm going to take this part away too. I made mine too big. Flattening it, flattening it. Good. And place it on top. So once you're done, it's going to look like this. Ah, what happened there? So you're done, and it's supposed to look like this. And now you're going to take this extremely long, I don't know, string of Play Doh and stick it to the cell body. So you're going to take this like this, and stick it on. I think I'm gonna stick it one of these, because you don't want it falling off, so I'm gonna stick it in one of this, and make it look like it's part of this. So it'll be neat, not messy. I got some dust in here. Okay, so this is the axon. So I'm gonna stick it on nice and tight. Go. The axon is ready to go. We and now you can just I don't know. This is where stick. I'm just gonna press it down. So now you're gonna take this small tiny blue ball and flatten it. It doesn't matter how much you do it. And then you're going to stick it to the end of the axon. So now it's going to look like this. And then, yeah, so it's practically like this. And then you're gonna take these long skinny thing majiggies and then stick it. Just stick it to the bottom of this so like this. 
then stick it to the bottom of this. All right, take it, and yeah, there you go. It's stuck. And I think I'm gonna take a short one now. Then stick it on. Next, the long one again. Stick it on. I'm gonna take two short ones now and stick it. So you're just putting it underneath this. And these are gonna be the axon terminals. Another short one. Sticking it on. And this one. Pressing it down, down. Pressing it down. Good. This is what it's supposed to look like. Ta da! And I'm gonna take this away. Sit down, plate. Finally, you're gonna take orange drinks and wrap it around the axon. So, just gonna take it and wrap it around. Wrap it around. This isn't really wrapping it around. We're just tucking it underneath. And these myelins are the most important part of the neuron. Because in some cases, some people wouldn't have these myelins in their neurons. And then you wouldn't be able to pass the message through. So let's say you want to lift your right hand. You might lift your left hand or you might not do anything at all. So these are the most important thing of neuron. And then there you go. Your neuron is ready. This model is far better than a drawing or a sketch. It's a 3D model. I'm gonna tell you many more human body parts model in my future videos. Stay tuned. Until then, take care. Bye.